Hey everybody, I want to do a quick video today on a brand new product from Custom Bow Equipment that you may have seen on Facebook last week. We did the official launch last week. Uh, you could have initially seen this product at the Las Vegas shoot. That's the first time we had it in public. Uh, as a dealer, you might have seen it at the buy group shows. As a shooter, you could have seen it on display at the ASA tournaments. But if you're familiar with custom bow equipment in the past, it was just known as a sight and scope company. But in the past couple of years, they've expanded their offerings to have a lot more than just sights. We've got new hunting sites that were launched this year in January. We've got a brand new target site that should be coming to market here in just a few more weeks. Uh, we've got hunting stabilizers, target stabilizers, hunting quivers, and now we're in the arrow rest market. This is the new X4 arrow rest. Uh, really cool product. Uh, looks cool from the pictures, but you really can't tell a whole lot from a picture. And I want to show you the features, the benefits, and the adjustments of this arrow rest today. So let's get to it. When you get your new X4 arrow rest and open it up, here's what you should see. Inside the hard case is the instructions. You should have a completely assembled arrow rest body with a blade installed. You're going to have the mounting block, the locking knob, which goes in right there like so. And then you're going to have two 5 16 24 mounting screws. Uh, if you have a riser that has two holes drilled, you can utilize both screws to lock that down and make it really secure. Uh, most bows will have one. Uh, when you really tighten them down, you have to watch when you lock it down because when you tighten it, your blade or your block, not your blade, your block will kick like that. So if you've got a riser with two holes, utilize both of those screws and lock that thing down where it won't move. As you can see, you do have some adjustment front to back on your mounting block uh, to set the position of your arrow rest. But you can also see here, it's laser engraved one, two, three. And this is built just like a CBE Vertex target sight. It slides in the dovetail. It's got the indentions at the bottom. When you lock the knob down, it presses it. It indexes in one position only there. So you cannot get it wrong, but you just pick one, two, or three. If you want to torque tune your bow and try it in the different positions and also slide your block from front to back, it gives you a lot of adjustability there. If you fear this won't work on your bow and you're shooting like a Hoyt Tech riser and you don't think you can slide it in from the back, if you loosen this locking knob enough, the rest will pop right in from the side just like that lock it back down no problem this rest will fit any bow you choose let's take a look at the adjustments once you get your arrow rest mounted to your bow you want to set your elevation and your windage uh, to an initial starting point very easy to do you have micro adjust here on the side just loosen this screw a little bit you can use the knob at the bottom or you can use the knob at the top that'll do very nice clicks you can see it working up and down right there and then once you get it set where you think you want it, go ahead and lock this screw back down. That's a 964 Allen. If you want to adjust your windage, you'll come all the way out here on the end and loosen this little set screw right here. And that's your windage adjustment. You've got real nice fine clicks. You can see that rest working back and forth right there. You can lock it back down. And then if you want to set the pitch of your blade, where your arrow lays and how stiff, whatever, depending on how stiff of a launch you're using, you might want to adjust that pitch. You'll go right here to the top screw, give it a little bit of a loosen, go down here to the bottom on a, with a 564 Allen wrench, and you can watch this blade work up and down. You can see the elevation, the pitch of it changing right there. That's on like a worm drive is what I call it, or a worm gear. You can really adjust and you can really fine tune this arrow rest and make micro adjustments in very minute increments. So it has all the features that you want. Go back up here, lock that down once you get where it's set. Uh, get your initial position set and now you can make all your micro adjustments with your elevation here, your windage right here, and you can adjust the pitch of your blade with these two screws right here. Your rest will come with a blade installed, but it also comes with three extras. You're gonna get an eight and 10 thousandths narrow, uh, and you're gonna get an eight and 10 thousandths wide. So you can interchange and select which blade you wanna utilize. But uh, I'll show you how they install in the locking system that's designed with this rest. Um, you'll see there's one set screw here. 
and it has a locking collar underneath of it. And that locking collar, I'll take this apart here so you can see the locking collar is machined. It has a recess there. You can see it, how it's, it's a little bit deeper on the inside. And what that does, these blades actually have a triangle cutout that you can see right there. And that triangle will slip right over this machine triangle that you can see right there. So you get very, very consistent indexing if you want to put a blade right back, if you bend this 10,000s, you want to put a new 10,000s on, you can get it back to almost the exact position with the way this is. That triangle will snap down back over so it fits and there's very, there is no play in that. It's a very, very nice fit. Then your recessed collar will encapture that triangle so it'll sit right down over it. And then your locking screw We'll go right back in. And now you have it exactly like you took it off, but it's a very, very positive, very, very nice locking system to hold that blade in position. Your rest will come with everything we've shown you today, a completely assembled rest body, four blades, the mounting block, the locking knob, two mounting screws, very detailed instructions in this hard travel case, and it retails for $159.99. So go to your local dealer, check this new arrow rest out, and please go to custombowequipment.com and check out the whole lineup of CBE products. My two favorite features about an arrow rest like this, first being I can loosen this knob, I can pop my arrow rest off, when I'm traveling to or from any tournament, stick it right back in the hard case it came in, and I never have to worry about TSA or to my own fault, grabbing that blade on something and bending it and making it to where I can't shoot right away. Having to recite in or start from zero is such an inconvenience, but being able to pop this rest off, stick it right back in the hard case it came in, stick it on your bow and go, it's priceless. My second favorite feature about an Arrow S like this is, say this is my favorite bow, maybe it's my only bow, and I wanna to try to utilize this bow for different archery organizations. Say I'm shooting a fat arrow for ASA, and I wanna take the exact same bow to an IBO tournament where I'm gonna shoot skinny arrows. Well, I don't wanna shoot skinny arrows off of a wide launcher, so having a removable Arrow rest makes it super simple. I can loosen the screw, pop this rest off, if I have a second one, stick it right back on. If I have a second sight, I can take this side off, put my second sight on. So I'm utilizing two rests and two sights on the same bow to have two setups that I'm 100% confident in.